Mouse Trouble News fans, I'm going over the comments from the Ron Paul Libertarian Dies from a Lack of Healthcare video, and uh, quite frankly, I'm actually almost depressed at the comments that were left in reply. Some of them are just either strawmanning me like usual and changing my argument, or I can't even tell what it's supposed to be saying. You truly are one of the dumbest users on YouTube. Libertarians like Ron Paul do not support the current healthcare system one bit. At what point did I say that Ron Paul did support the healthcare system that existed in the United States? I never said that. I know Ron Paul doesn't support it. He doesn't like there being a public option. He doesn't like the fact that the government pays for anything in healthcare. I never said he did. You're a dumbass. Yeah, well, you're gay. It's people like you who will commit murder in order to save lives. Your type of people will stifle free speech, eliminate human rights, and commit acts of atrocity in order to further a corrupt and toxic communist state. I have personally been to North Korea and it's clear to see the devastation and poverty there. You are an idiot. Actually, it's people like me who fight against the government who kill people who fight against classes that have people die for their profit. We don't kill to save lives. We, we fight to abolish a system that is unjust, that is corrupt, that is murderous. Not to save lives as you try to put it. There are saving the lives in the greater context of changing a system like capitalism and free market fundamentalism that kills astronomical amounts of people. So you could put it in that kind of a context. That stifle free speech. What free speech did I stifle? What did I do? I believe in freedom the same way that Vladimir Lenin did. Yeah, capitalism is freedom. For whom? The boss. To do what? Exploit. And yeah, you've personally been to North Korea? Yeah, liar. I can defend Ron Paul on collectivist grounds. The man who died would have cost society too much resources for not enough gain for the whole. Healthcare ought to be run such that it increases social welfare and benefit, not save the lives of everyone. Those who are too expensive to save and who aren't important enough should die. The disabled should die unless they can do work of some kind. Society and its overall benefit should be the measure. Collectivist grounds? You think that's collectivist grounds? You did not advocate socialism. You did not advocate so communism. What you just advocated was Nazism. What you just advocated was the idea that somebody is unworthy of life. They can't be productive enough for society for you, so they should be left to die. The only thing different between what you just said and what the Nazis did was the proactive act of going out and actually exterminating those people. You did not advocate collectivism on any, on any level. You advocated Nazism. You advocated the opposite of communism. Collectivism is the idea, or not specifically collectivism, but socialism, communism is the idea that we are all equal and that we all deserve certain rights and that we all deserve access to healthcare and resources. You advocated the opposite, that some people were unworthy of life. Most pro-capitalist free market libertarians don't actually go all the way to actually saying that there are some people unworthy of life. They mean it. They just won't come out and say it. You did. You basically just advocated having people die because they're not valuable enough. That is Nazism. That is not collectivism. Did you even see Paul's response to Blitzer you're referring to? He never says people should be allowed to die. He just said that people should have the freedom to choose their health care and not be forced to depend on the gov. Then he said charities and hospitals should help the needy and no one should ever be turned away. I'm not a Paul supporter, but I don't appreciate you making stuff up either. And he's still a saint compared to other candidates. Yes, I did see his response. He did say people should be free to choose their health care, not be forced to depend upon the government. He also 
didn't answer the question, should he be left to die? He wouldn't come right out and say, yes. That is what he meant. They should be left to die. Because if he didn't mean that, he would have said, no, they should not be left to die. This idea that charities and volunteers would make up the rest of it is insane. If it's already going on the libertarian pe principle that all people are greedy and selfish and can't care about other people, and that this selfishness is the only way society could possibly function, then how the hell could charities and volunteer work possibly make up the gap in healthcare that people won't be able to afford? I mean, this is, this is absolutely ridiculous. He absolutely did advocate people just die. He would not come out and say it, but that's exactly what it, that's exactly what he meant. That is exactly the libertarian principle. That is the free market fundamentalist position. The person didn't have enough virtue or ambition to make enough money to avoid health care. Therefore, they're unworthy of life. They won't say unworthy. The person will just be left to die. Having no value because they couldn't afford it. And if they can't afford it, it therefore must be their own fault. No, you actually, you didn't watch what he said. Or more importantly, you did not listen to what he did not say on purpose. Wow, you completely lost me on this one. So he died because Dr. Paul didn't offer him health care insurance, even though he was denied coverage due to a pre-existing condition? Also, I am in the same boat as the guy was, minus the life-threatening illness. I cannot get insurance due to a pre-existing condition, but there is no premium I can pay to change their minds. So it sounds like CNN got that fact wrong. No, CNN did not get it wrong. Uh, CNN didn't say what, what, you're, what you're saying here. Uh, they didn't say that he died because Ron Paul didn't give health insurance. Uh, CNN did not say that, and I did not say that. Uh, what I said was, I was pointing out the fact that libertarians believe that if you just get rid of government regulation, or, or more particularly the free market fundamentalists say, well, then everybody's boss is going to go around treating them like gold because they'll want to keep their workers. I mean, if they won't do it now when they're forced to, then why would they do it when they're not forced to? That makes absolutely no sense. Then there would be no argument in favor of not forcing people to do it. If they would do it anyway, then there'd be no argument against forcing them to do it. Uh, the idea is that the bosses will just automatically give good health coverage to their employees because they want them to be healthy and productive. When all reality and all history has proven that to be wrong. My point was, this was the most important guy in Ron Paul's campaign. This was the most important guy in the whole thing. The guy who raised him the most money and ran his campaign. And he still was not worth enough for Ron Paul to offer him health insurance. That was the point I was making. In fact, CNN did not make that point at all because he hadn't even died yet. I mean, this, this, this is just ridiculous. And, and I don't even mean this comment, all of them. Either we have somebody who's just calling names or completely straw man's, completely straw man's, I mean, just holds up a position that I didn't take says I said things that I didn't say, advocates Nazism, or didn't watch the CNN footage themselves while claiming that I didn't. I, I, I bet anything, every, every one of these people is American. They, they, they would have to be.